again, my name is Chester Spelman, and I have the honor of serving as the CEO of Volunteer Florida. For those of you who are not familiar with our organization, Volunteer Florida is the governor's lead agency for volunteerism and service here in our state. Our mission at Volunteer Florida is to strengthen Florida's communities through volunteerism and service. We have been serving Florida's communities and promoting volunteerism for 23 years. At Volunteer Florida, we see the impact of volunteerism across the state each and every day. We realize that civic engagement and community service is essential to the health of our society. Therefore, I believe that volunteerism and service is a critical part of securing Florida's future. I realize that this topic may be a bit new for this conference. Again, I appreciate uh, Mark and Tony for allowing me this opportunity to discuss about this very important topic. I'd like to begin by looking briefly at the importance of volunteerism. If you would, raise your hand if you have volunteered yourself or if your life has been impacted by a volunteer. I think every, every hand went up. Well, we all know the importance of volunteers and the impact that volunteers make. Volunteers do so many important things. They meet so many unmet needs. The most important thing is that they give of their time freely to help those who need it. They help young people graduate. They protect the environment. They preserve our history. They help us recover from disaster. They serve veterans. They help the helpless, and they support the workforce of the future. Volunteers are a vital part of the fabric of our society. To really grasp the importance and relevance of volunteerism, for a moment, think about what our communities and what our state would be like if there were not volunteers. There would be so many unmet needs. So now let's look for a moment at the prevalence of volunteerism in Florida. We have some brand new data that I'm excited to share from a research study that was conducted very recently on the state of volunteerism in Florida. This research reveals that 35% of Floridians have volunteered over the past year. And that compares to 28% in other states outside of our states. When the wording was changed a bit to ask Floridians if they have done some type of service that they may not think of as volunteering, maybe it is serving at their church, or uh, being involved in the Boy Scouts, or feeding the homeless, things that they may not, helping a neighbor, may not automatically associate with volunteerism, the numbers skyrocket. Over half of Floridians report having volunteered in the prior year. So it really comes to how the question is asked. So those numbers are strong, and I think the prevalence of volunteerism is extremely strong in our state, but we can do much better. In order to increase volunteerism, we have to know the barriers and obstacles to volunteering. Our research revealed some very interesting things. First, on the positive side, 93% of individuals want to volunteer. They have an interest in giving back to their communities. So an interest or a passion for service isn't the problem. In terms of barriers, our data shows that a shortage of time outside of work is the number one barrier to volunteering. The second, and this is a, a very, very simple one, but it's simply being asked. Individuals don't volunteer because they've not been asked. They have not been presented Finally, younger and older Floridians express the most distinct barriers to volunteering. Younger Floridians, they have some insecurity. They may feel that they don't have the skills or the knowledge to help others. Older Floridians are oftentimes limited by health issues or, again, by not being asked. So understanding these barriers is the first step to increasing volunteerism. Our goal at Volunteer Florida is for Florida to be the number one state in the nation for volunteers. We definitely have a long way to go, but I believe that that goal is attainable if we work together. The nonprofit sector, 
the public sector and the private sector working together to embrace this goal of being the number one state for volunteers. What can you as business leaders do to promote volunteerism within your companies? First, employers can have an extraordinary impact on the number one barrier to volunteering. Again, is time. Employers can consider allowing your employees time, whether it's paid or unpaid, to volunteer. Employers can sponsor workplace service projects that engage employees in service. Employers can host company-wide days of service and also allow staff members to volunteer on nonprofit boards. These are just a few of the ways that your companies can give back to your community. I realize with this audience that you are all very focused on corporate social responsibility and most of you are doing these things. But if you need any assistance, feel free to reach out to Volunteer Florida. If you need any additional ideas of how your employees can get engaged in service or how you can implement some of these ideas, please reach out to us. So in closing, I encourage you, as Florida's business community, to get your employees engaged in service, to support your local nonprofits, and create a culture of service. I will leave you with this closing thought. As you think about the future of Florida, remember that volunteerism and service is a critical part of securing our future. Thank you.